We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Ilya El Matador And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Charles the Bronx. All right, here we go. Charles Oliveira may be the most exciting fighter, man or woman, on this roster, top to bottom. He is a finisher of the highest order, and you can be sure he will be in hot pursuit of another stoppage win here tonight. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, round action here. Charles Oliveira pressing forward, guard high, in constant pursuit of his foot. Yeah, classic Muay Thai man. Look to that knee to draw to reaction, and if you give him too big a reaction, he will start you with that beautiful left hook. The guy has, has tremendous power, and he sets up his... Oh, big knee! He's brutalized him with the ground and pound. This fight is close to being done. Oh, he lands a huge move to the body. Side control now. Just over three minutes now to go. Now he's going full mount. Making all these shots count. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. His arm triangle's looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's got a clear guard. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. <laughs> Past the two-minute mark in round one. Here he's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landed that brutal ground and pound. He is no for because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out of under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or just a Seconds now to go around. Oh, another one. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Might get the TKO here. Final seconds around one. Well, the Vera's trying for a submission here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Well, it's early, but that was one of the better rounds we have seen all year. Knockdowns on both sides. Mixed martial arts, folks. Mixed martial arts is the most beautiful form of violence that you will ever see. And these two men put it on full display in that round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, check it out, number one. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand lands. Olivera's oh, shot is blocked. Take off. He passes the half guard. Right side control.
control now, DC. You know, he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Dude's trying to finish the fight. Oh, Darce choke locked and loaded. Sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Hard ground and pound. Some swelling now starting to appear. Oliveira's going for an arm here. Arms in deep. Oh, it looks tight to me. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Oh, right into Mount. Great submission defense. Mm, that was nice. Drops inside that first guard, DC. Control guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit. Oliveira's going for a choke here. That dart choke is tight. It looks like the dart choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hips, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll his back. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Fifteen seconds. Side control now. Topodius, I'm starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. All right, breathe. Yeah, relax, relax. Oh, foi muito bom. O último round foi muito massa, tá? Então, faz a mesma coisa que você está fazendo agora. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Trademark inside leg kick there by Ilya Topuria. Oh, misses with the jab. All right, different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong, he hasn't made any effort to take the fight. I don't understand when you possess that skill, when you're so good on the ground. He's so Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the outlet. Oh, he's out. Back to his feet. Topuria's pass is denied. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, huge kick to the leg. There you go. Attempting to go for the leg now. Heel hook looks tight. That heel hook looks tight. He cannot allow his opponent to get space, though, if he wants to finish the fight. Oh, what a move as he escapes. I mean, he counters it, and now he's putting him in his own submission. How about it? Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. He's up. What's the 
Nice defense. You up. You need to run it. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Wow, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. Inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility, rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring them. Oh, another submission attempt by him now. Got that submission locked up very tight. the fighters go the distance tonight we'll look back at some of the highlights and if you can't stop the takedown probably not getting your hand raised tonight and he was willing to land multiple takedowns it wasn't one takedown and a whole bunch of top control it was multiple takedowns that allowed him to get this victory great performance all right the official decision is now in here is bruce buff ladies and gentlemen after three rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision all three judges score this contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Charles de Bronx Oliveira! All right, so we congratulate Charles Oliveira on yet another UFC win, but this one somewhat surprisingly by decision he goes to the cards. So many thought that Charles Oliveira, if taken into deep water, could not last. He has shown time and time again now, submission, knockout, or decision, it'll be hard to beat Dubronx. Congrats on the massive victory to Charles Oliveira.